In this video, we'll write the equation for CuF2 plus H2O. This is copper 2 fluoride plus water. So we'll take our solid copper 2 fluoride here and we'll put that in liquid water and we want to know the equation. So we have to figure out if we put copper 2 fluoride in water, does it dissolve and break apart into its ions? If we look at our solubility rules, we're looking for copper or for fluoride here, copper 2 ion or the fluoride ion. And we don't see it. We see that we have the chloride, bromide, and iodide ions. They're in the same group as fluoride, but it doesn't list fluoride. So let's look at a solubility chart to see what's going on there. So here's a small portion of a larger solubility chart. We have fluoride right here, that F minus, and then here's our copper, the Cu2 plus. So we go over, down, we see SS. That stands for slightly soluble. So most of this, when we put it in water, will remain a solid, won't dissolve. But some of it will dissolve a little bit. And we can write the equation for the bit that dissolves. So we know that the fluoride ion is one minus, and we have two of them. So the copper is gonna be two plus. So we have our copper two ion, Cu two plus. And then for the fluoride, we have two of those. We have two fluoride ions. So we'll put two F minus, and this is the equation for copper 2 fluoride, this CuF2 plus H2O. We should put aqueous after these since they are dissolved in water. So we'll put our little AQ there. And so this is our equation. Do understand that because this is only slightly soluble, most of it won't dissolve. Most of it's a solid, but the part that does dissolve will break apart into these ions. Sometimes you'll see the water put above the arrow like this here, and sometimes water will be written afterwards. Although since we wrote aqueous, we're showing that these are dissolved in water. This is Dr. V with the equation for CuF2 plus H2O. Thanks for watching.